Roses. Where do you start? There's just the most amazing selection here, at New Covent Garden Flower Market. I'm lucky enough to be at Dennis Edwards' stand here, looking at all the beautiful, brightly coloured Dutch product. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a really lovely, coutured, clean rose dome that you could have for any party. So, we're grabbing our roses. I've stripped them all. We've, take, we've taken all the thorns off them, nice and cleanly, and I'm going to start by spiralling them in a lovely spirally shape. Now this is quite a floristry look. It's kind of that really high-endy, clean, sort of smart dome affair. And I'm using three colours. I'm using pink, red, and then a really lovely orange. So you keep adding them in a circle like that, crossing your stems over, keeping them nicely crossed over. and. Um, Everyone loves a rose. I mean, I think they're just, you know, they say romance, they say just special occasion, don't they, really? And this is the sort of thing you could do for a party. So can you see I'm adding them, spiralling for that really professional look. So I've taken all the thorns off, as I said, and all the leaves. That's called conditioning in the world of flowers. So um, keep them in little drifts, I think. I always like to do that. So we're adding them like that. Um, but roses, yes. You know, who doesn't love a rose? Just so lovely. And these are so long lasting. They're grown all over the world and imported from Holland to here. So um, we end up with some really amazing ones. This is great for contract work because they last forever. Um, and it just has that really lovely sort of quite coutured look. Very stylish. Gonna pop one in the middle there. This is, as I always say, this is the sort of thing you should do in front of a mirror so you can get an idea of what you're doing. But I'm keeping it heavily grouped. And this is lovely for a party because you could have domes of these going down the table in a really kind of smart way. And this kind of hand-tied dome um, was started in the 90s by Jane Packer, the florist. Um, and it's just kind of a look that it's quite a classic. So keep them all, just keep fiddling with them. And once you've got them in a, a kind of a look that you like, get the uh, tape here. This is a really good florist tape. It's waterproof. It, uh, don't use your teeth as I always say. Uh, it lasts really well and it's very resilient. So simply do that. And you've got your stems all at one length. So what you want to do is cut them so they're all the right length, so it sits nicely on the top of your cube. Once you've got them to the right height, you want to snip them up, the stems, and if you're feeling very professional, split them up there so they, um, they start drinking all the water you want them to drink to keep them lovely and alive. So there we are, look at that. That's a lovely look, and as you see, it's quite clashing, it's quite sort of funky. But um, there are all kinds of roses in the world of flowers, and this is one that I made earlier, and it's a blue rose uh, and, and, and a rainbow-coloured rose, and these are all dyed. It's amazing, isn't it? It's great for a children's party. You know, there are lots of different looks in flowers, and um, there's a flower for everyone. Enjoy your flowers, and uh, thanks very much. For more fabulous flowers films, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here.